Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to be unboxing my May Fairly box. Um, I'm very excited that it arrived in May. So, yeah. So, here's how this box looks like in the inside. So we have our spoiler card here. And this month's theme was Shooting Gods. And yeah, so let's go ahead and grab the first item here, which is this. And it is a tote bag which I really like. I like the colors of this tote bag. I like the designs of it. And it just have a whole bunch of Greek mythology books on it. Um, so you have Thirsty, Lore Olympus, Percy Jackson, Lore, um, like some other books that I never heard of. But yeah, they're the exact same front and back, but I like the design a lot. And I will definitely be using this tote bag. I like receiving tote bags, so that's really, really nice. So that is the ancient Greek tote bag designed by Chatty Nora. Um, so yeah, I really like it. Okay, so this is one of the reasons why I want to cancel Fairy Loot and like all my other subscription boxes and just switch to book only because they love repeating items that we do not need need like so many of them for example this which is the canvas uh, basket i this is my third one that i'm receiving from fairy loot but i received like two from from a crate as well before so like i just do not need more like ever and they all also all look the same. Um, so here is this one for this month. Um, I like it. It's a nice design. But like I already have so many. And I don't have a need for this many. And like I said. They all basically are black and white. Uh, because I have the other one over there. But I'm not going to grab it. But they're all just black and white. And yeah. I just do not need more. With the same items in the box like why if we received two last year why do we need another one you know what i mean so i like it but i probably won't use it because i don't have any use for it anymore so um the next item is honestly i hate it um it's just a postcard but it's wooden i guess and that's literally it. It's a wooden postcard designed by Vit Koskaya underscore art. Um, and yeah, it's just a postcard that's wooden. So that's gonna go in the trash. I don't like it. Like, why? Um, but okay. The next thing we have is a notebook. And again, we just. I just received so many notebooks and all my subscription boxes. I don't need more. I don't use them. I don't write anything. Um, and also, I'm just not the biggest fan of the design. It's fine. But, yeah. They do have gold um, gilded edges, which is nice. But, and also, this, this is the worst type of paper. I, this is like wide rule. And not college rule, so like even worse. Um, so yeah, I just won't be using this at all. Don't like it. So that's very disappointing. Um, I really just just switch to book only. But whatever. And then we have a enamel pen here. Um, Vakir helmet designed by No One Design, and I definitely mispronounced that. But here is the enamel pen. It looks nice. It looks cool, I guess. Um, yeah, actually, I do like it. it. It's pretty nice. So I do like the enamel pen. So the only item that I like this month is the canvas. Um, it's the tote bag, and that's it. Um, I just don't like the item this month. I feel like Fairloot and Element Crate have just been doing so badly with their items this year. Um, and it really sucks, but whatever. And then we have our tarot cards this month, which I think are inspired by this month's book, if not 
mistaken because it looked like it, especially with the little letters they're holding. So we have seven of stars and eight of stars, and I like them. They're very cute. I like receiving them, and I like the art on them. Okay, so now we should have the book finally with the extras that comes inside of it. So let's go ahead and get that out. So we have the matching bookmark um, from the theme um, from the theme from this month, and then we have a fairy scoop. And we have a author's letter there uh, with the art print at the front and then the back is the author's letter. So that's nice. And then we have a the book this month, which is uh, Divine Ravels by Rebecca Ross. And I love this redesign cover. I think this is beautiful. I know people do not like character artwork on the cover, but I personally do. So I was really excited that they decided to keep that in this month's book. Um, and it has this nice gold folding on it, which I think looks stunning. So I'm very happy with that. And then we have the spine there. And then we have the back cover. Um, two rivals, two stories, two hearts, one fate. And you just have gold folding all over. And I think that's very, very pretty. So I love that. And then the top, we just have black spray edges. The same on the bottom there. And then the edges there, these are amazing. I love these edges. I think they came out really great and I love them. I love these little notes, envelopes, um, and the little stars. I think it looks really pretty. So I'm very happy with this book. So let's go ahead and take off the dust jacket. And we have a gorgeous naked um, hardback there. Um, there's the spine, and then there's the back. I think this is a really, really beautiful uh, naked hardback. I love it. Uh, yeah, I love that a lot. And then we have the end papers with some nice character art, and it has gold falling on the art um, in the end papers, which look amazing. I love them. They're stunning. And then we have the back ones there, and I think they're the exact same. Just yeah, they're just flipped. But they're absolutely beautiful. So I love the end papers. And then it is signed by the author. Actually, it might be just a digital. Yeah, I think that's just digital and not actually hand signed. Which sucks. But, I mean, I don't care. This book is absolutely beautiful. And it's probably my favorite that they had done in a couple of months now. I really love this redesign cover. I like the thread edges. So I'm very happy with this book. Uh, let me know your thoughts um, on what they did to the book. I personally love it. Um, so yeah, let me know. I love this. Um, let me know your thoughts on the items as well. I, like I said, I only like the tote bag this month because everything else is just, we have too many. We have way too much notebooks that we received from Fairly and way too many of these little canvas baskets. We do not need more. The animal pen is cute and then the wooden postcard, worst one yet. Like I don't like when they do items like that because there's no purpose to it. And even for like decor, I still think it's a little meh as the as in decor item, so I don't like that. Um but I love I love the book. So I might be switching to book only uh, because Fair Loot and their items this year have been pretty bad. Um, but yeah, I love the book. So anyways, make sure to like, comment below, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.